Hi, this is Ian from Your Office Anywhere. I'm going to show you how to configure remote desktop in Windows 11 so you can connect to and remote control it from another PC or another device on your home network. The Windows 11 PC that is being controlled has to be running Windows 11 Pro. You cannot configure remote desktop on the home version of the operating system. Although you can use a Windows 11 Home Edition as one doing the remote controlling as well as other non-Windows operating systems like iOS, Android, Mac OS and Linux. The configuration is done from the Windows System Setting app. To start you can either click the Start button, choose Settings and select System or if you like keyboard shortcuts press the Windows key and the Pause Break key to bring up the System Properties page. Once it's System Properties you can scroll down to Remote Desktop. Toggle the On Off button to enable the Remote Desktop feature. The confirm button mentioned that you as selected users will be able to connect to this PC remotely so a word of caution, any user account that has the administrator role will have remote access automatically whether you select them or not. So if you have other users in your household make sure that they have strong passwords if they have admin accounts before setting this to reduce risk of hacking. Before you rush off and connect to this computer expand the remote desktop box for some more options. Note the required network level authentication, make sure this is ticked to only allow connection to the remote desktop with NLA. What this does is check that the username and password entered by somebody trying to remote access this PC is correct before starting the remote desktop session. Starting the remote desktop session itself uses up a lot of CPU and memory resources. So you can imagine a malware attack from within your home network repeatedly trying to log on would overload your PC very quickly. So having the authentication occur first reduces the risk of a denial of service attack. The default remote desktop port information is important if you're connected through a firewall but we're not particularly going to go into that in this video. And note the PC name because we'll use that later. You can if you want to add other non-administrator users at this point and you could create a user account that doesn't have any admin rights at all and log in with that and that would reduce the chances of hackers installing anything if they did somehow manage to get in. So that's it, you can now connect your PC from another device. To show you the versatility of installing Windows Remote Desktop on Windows 11, I'm going to connect from an Android phone. Before I do, I'm going to show you how to check if your computer is discoverable. Click the Windows 11 search and type in Control Panel. Select the Network and Sharing Center. Select Advanced Sharing Settings and then check that the network discovery is on. That these two uh, options are ticked here. You can download the Microsoft Remote Desktop Client app from Google Play, Apple App Store or the Microsoft Store. So a whole range of devices can be used to connect to computers running on a remote desktop. Simply launch the app, click the plus in the top right hand corner and select desktop. As my phone is connected to the same home network as my PC then it shows up here. Then select username and enter the username you normally use to access your computer or in this case I've just used one I saved earlier. Then click connect in the top right hand corner and it will start connecting. So here it is starting to connect. Here we go. So you're now controlling a Windows 11 PC from an Android phone. So you can remote control your PC while it's upstairs in your study and you're downstairs watching the TV. When you're done you can shut down the PC from here or simply sign out stays up and running and your programs continue to run in the background. A quick word about hosted remote desktops. Businesses looking for ways for staff to work from home can use a hosted desktop service to run shared business applications. Things like accounting, payroll, CRM, anything with shared data. This is a much quicker and more stable and more secure solution than trying to remote control your office PC from your home. So if you'd like to find out more Visit yourofficeanywhere.co.uk and then get in touch with one of our sales consultants who can help architect the best solution for your business. Thank you very much for watching.